Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody, everywhere. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the Lord, everybody, everywhere. This is Aisha Barnes Daniels coming back again to talk about the prayer watches. We are now up to the fourth watch of the night. And um, we already discussed the first, second, and third. So if you missed those uh, recordings, they are still available to watch on replay. Um, but today we're going to talk about the fourth watch of the night, which falls between 3 a.m. and 6 p.m. And this is the, the last night watch of prayer that we're going to discuss today. So just to briefly recap, um, the first watch falls between 6 and 9 p.m. Um, that is considered uh, a part of one of the twilight uh, times of the day. That that particular watch is where we saw Jesus still away after he fed the multitude and sent his disciples away. He uh, went and prayed alone and had some one-on-one uh, -on -one time with his father. Um, and it's also a watch where a lot of those who are outcast or sick would come out and receive their healing, um, receive what they needed from God. Uh, the second watch we talked about was uh, really just getting prepared for what was to come. Um, it was where we talked about the, it was in that watch where a lot of demonic activity was beginning to start, but it was the time to saturate that watch with prayer. And it was also the time that God was about to start releasing his judgment against the evil works of darkness. And we talked about the third watch, which is the watch in which we want to stand confident in God and do warfare uh, because during that watch is also called the witching hour where a lot of satanic and demonic things are released. And now we are up to the fourth watch of the night. Once again, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Hallelujah. And so this watch here is as I was praying again and seeking God's face for more insight. This is the watch where in uh, the believer is more diligent as well as this is a watch where we command our morning. This is called the commanding your morning watch. And so um, as I've said before, I do have the scriptures related to each watch in their description, in the description or caption of the video and be like a Berean out of Acts 17. Go over these scriptures, allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you, give you more downloads, give you more wisdom and insight. So if you find yourself waking up between three and six, or you have heard the Holy Spirit specifically give you instructions to wake up a little sooner, um, or wake up a little earlier before you start your day. This is the watch wherein you want to begin to command your morning. And so um, I won't get to all of the scriptures, but again, they are in the caption for you to study them out and allow God to minister to you. I know for sure, as I've been reviewing notes and um, doing this, it's rekindling some things in my prayer time. And I'm also receiving uh, more direct downloads from the Holy Spirit as well. So I pray that for you. Um, I am truly being blessed by the inboxes and phone calls and texts that I'm receiving of how uh, people are being more diligent, more mindful during different times of the day uh, to pray and to pray strategically. And so glory be to God for that. To God be all the glory and, and I'm praising God with you. And so keep them coming. I, I love to hear what God is doing and how he is moving on his people's behalf. Praise our God. Okay, so this fourth watch, um, the final watch of the night, this is also a watch where in twilight um, is happening in the, um, in, you know, uh, so when I was looking up twilight, twilight is that space of time between where the sun is about to go down and just before the sun is about to come up so um so just like that first watch and this watch which is the fourth watch so 
um, dusk to dawn. This is where the uh, the sun is about to come up. And so, as I talked about in the first watch of the night, where this was a time where people who were outcasts, those that were maimed, that those that were lame, that they were pretty much ostracized by society. They were not allowed to be out during the day where a lot of people were uh, coming out to, you know, do regular things, you know, sell products, buy goods and services. This was their time to pretty much be able to come out in the, uh, before the, you know, before it got too dark and before there was too much light. And it was during these times where in God or Jesus, as he was walking the earth, this is where he would heal people. And, um, as I was, uh, reading again, and I'm going to read that scripture, but uh, Matthew chapter 14, it talks about how people were coming um, during the fourth watch as well to receive their healing. Um, this watch also is significant because this is where those that were those demonic um, assignments or those uh, demonic agents that were sent out to release different things in the atmosphere to sow seeds, as I talked about in the third watch. There was an enemy that went out among the sower's field, and while the, the sower was asleep, he went and he sowed tares amid, um, in the midst of the wheat. Um, this is where the, those agents of Satan are now returning to base. They're going back in, you know, back inside. And so, and now the believer or people are now beginning to wake up and, you know, discovering what has been taking place all night long or what took place in the previous watches. So um, it's very, very important if you find yourself awake during this watch, that you are commanding your morning, that you are sensitive to the voice of God and that you are being strategic when you pray. Um, in um, Matthew chapter 24, and if we look at um, verse 43, Matthew 24, verse 43, it says, um, in the Amplified, but understand this, had the householder known in what part of the night, whether in the night or the morning watch, the thief was coming, he would have watched and would not have allowed the house to be undermined or, and broken into. So, um, so right there in the middle of the night, you know, a lot of people are sleeping. I talked about this before. And when we talked about the third watch, a lot of People are asleep. They're not awake. And so this is the time where in the enemy and the kingdom of darkness, they, they this is that's where they want to take advantage because a lot of people are not up. People are not sleeping or uh, or people are sleeping. And so then there's no one to uh, stop the demonic activities from taking place or to confront the enemy when he's, you know, doing his mischief or his agents from doing his mischief. So now this is the watch where people are awake. The agents have now gone in and they're discovering what was released, what was done in the middle of the night. And so we know had a good man, anybody with good sense, obviously, if you have any type of land or a house or anything like that, if you knew when the thief was coming, if you knew when something was about to take place, during the different parts of the night, if you had wind of it, of course, you would be up, you would be awake, and you would deal with it. That that goes without saying. But however, if, you know, some people don't wake up in the middle of the night, but you do wake up in the wee hours of the morning, um, you certainly can, uh, give me one second. Hi, wife at, hi, let me see. She's asking if I can make this public. I thought it was shareable. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I'm going to keep going and I will make it shareable by that. But thank you for um, asking. Um, so certainly if we knew when the enemy was coming, we would be alert. We would be ready. We would have weapons. We would have whatever we need. We would have our posse with us, whatever we would need to, to deal with the enemy if we knew when he was coming. But a lot of times, if those of us who don't wake up or, you know, or were not mindful to get up in the middle of the night, if we had a tugging, we're now waking up at this part of the um, morning, um, which is still like, is, is still pretty much the nighttime. We're discovering what is taking place. And so um, I, I share that to say not to, a lot of times when I've heard people preach and talk about these watches and 
They put this big emphasis on the third watch. And yeah, that is the most heightened time. But the Bible declares to us that at all times, we ought to always pray. We should always be praying at all times around the clock. We should be praying. We should be seeking God's face. Um, so at any at any point in time, when you wake up, when you get wind of what is going on, uh, when the Lord downloads something into you, when the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, you know, you should pray and you should pray intelligently. You should pray with the download that the Holy Spirit is given to you at that particular time. So in this watch, this is a watch wherein God will begin to reveal. He'll drop things in your spirit. He'll show you what's been released in the atmosphere. So if you wasn't up, he, if you wasn't up while things were happening, you'll, you're able to see what was released. You're able to see what was planted. But this is this is um, the hour when, you know, fret not yourself. Okay, this is what the enemy wanted to do. And I see what he wanted to plant. And I see what he wanted to have take place. But now I'm awake. And I have the opportunity. You still have the opportunity before the sun comes up. Before the day gets going. To still do warfare. To still decree and declare. Undo, spoil call null, void, and harmless anything that the enemy has sown or sent out to hinder the perfect will of God and not only your life, but the lives of the people around you and in the lives of the people that the Holy Spirit reveals to you to pray for. Praise God. So let me, um, I'm trying to like stay with the notes so I can give you everything that the Holy Spirit um, has downloaded. Um, so, so that was one scripture. Matthew chapter 24, but let's turn to Matthew 14. Let me turn to Matthew 14 and I'm um, going to read that because it specifically talks about um, that it was in fact the fourth watch of the night. So Matthew chapter 14 and we're going to start at verse 25 and go down to verse 36 and um I am reading from the Amplified. I love the Amplified, but you're welcome to read and follow along with whatever you want to read. Praise God. And it says, in the fourth watch between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. of the night, Jesus came to them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, it is a ghost. And they screamed out with fright. But instantly he spoke to them saying, take courage. I am. Stop being afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and he came toward Jesus. But when he perceived and felt the strong wind, he was frightened and he began to sink he cried out, Lord, save me from death. Instantly, Jesus reached out his hand and caught and held him, saying to him, O ye a little faith, uh, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat knelt and worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. And when they had crossed over to the other side, they went ashore to Gennesaret, and when the men of that place recognized him, they sent around into all the surrounding country and brought to him all who were sick and begged him to let them merely touch the fringe of his garment. And as many as touch, they were perfectly restored. Hallelujah. So again, this was the middle of the night. This was uh, during the twilight. And it says, as soon as we see that Jesus walked on water, this is where Peter walked on water as well. Yes, he did end up doubting, but he walked on the water and um, Jesus was right there to catch him. And it, here it is again. This is where those who were outcast, those who were sick, those who had all uncommon diseases, um, uncurable diseases, people that were not allowed to be touched. They were not allowed to be around other people. This is where they were able to get a, um, a fistful of the garment of Jesus and receive their healing. Um, so in this hour, this is where we're able to talk like God. 
This is the hour wherein we are we are um, able to fellowship with the Lord. We're able to prepare for our day. We're able to um, make our requests known unto him and seek his favor and his blessing. So by Peter asking Jesus, Jesus, you know, Peter said, hey, Jesus, you walking on water, let me walk on water. So this is the time wherein we can ask God for God's favor. We can ask for his blessing to be able to do things that we normally um, in our natural state are not able to do. So um, this is where this is a, a, a hour and a time wherein the people of God are diligent. We are mindful that we this is the time wherein we want to take God at his word. And we want to dec decree and declare and agree with his word. So in this time, it would be um, wise if you don't have it. Um, if you don't already have scriptures of your own, you should have scriptures of your own. But if you don't have scriptures, you can also get um, confession books and books of declaration that have been written by those in the body of Christ. I recommend having both. But this is the time wherein you want to begin to speak the word of God over your life. Speak the word of God over your day. Go back over the prof the prophetic words that have been spoken over your life and begin to release those things into the atmosphere. Come in agreement with what God has said about you. Come in agreement and decree and declare the word about what he has said about your loved ones, what he has said about the person he downloads in your spirit to pray for. Pray for your spouse. Pray for your children. Um, and then on top of that, also call to nothing. Call null, void, cancel assignments that have been sown into the atmosphere that have been released cancel assignments of uh, car accidents and fatalities cancel assignments of job losses and business losses and um, lack and barrenness can't you know begin to decree and declare plead the blood of Jesus declare Psalm 91 protection uh, declare um, that no weapon form no weapon that has already formed because again the agents of Satan have already went out and they've returned now, but we have, we're still able now to be on the defense and say, no, no, no. Yes, this was released, but no weapon formed against such and so. No weapon formed against me. No weapon formed against my family. No weapon formed against my pastor. No weapon formed against my church. No weapon formed against the person that God has me praying for. No weapon formed against the city that I live in or the region will be able to prosper. This is the time in, in which you want to do that before you, you start your day. And before the sun comes up, you want to begin to, to pray along that wise. Um, this is also the time in Exodus. Uh, it was Exodus 12, 13, and 14, where the children of Israel were exiting Egypt. Um, they were leaving Egypt. And the Bible says that uh, before they left, they were able to borrow good silver and gold and um, all kinds of goods from the Egyptians. And then later on in Exodus 14, this was the, the watch wherein God drowned the Egyptian. He, had dr he drowned the, the creditors. He drowned the people that came after, after them after they had been released at the Red Sea. So they went through the White Red Sea. And when the creditors or Pharaoh and the Egyptians tried to come after them, after they, you know, they came down from grieving from losing their firstborn. And after they had just told them to just get out of, uh, Egypt, they um, decided that they were going to go after their slaves. And when they did that and they tried to come after them, God drowned them in the Red Sea. That is where God drowned them in the Red Sea. Hallelujah. So this is the time wherein you can begin to decree and declare and speak over your finances. This is the time of where you go from bondage uh, into prosperity. You, you go from bondage into freedom. Hallelujah. So this is the time wherein Take some time to begin to decree and declare and speak over, say, your finances, speak and come against lack and barrenness and bondage. If you're in, if you're bound by by debt, if you're bound by anything, really begin to come against that with the word of God in this particular watch, um, because this is the time to get free from bondage. And this is the time to get free from lack, De declare debt cancellations, declare uh, favor with God and favor with men. Declare miracles, signs, and wonders. Declare healing in for your pocketbook. Do it because this is what the Lord of God, the, the Lord God has done in his word during this watch. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Speak the word of God, family. Speak the word of God in this time. Um, let's see what else we have here. This is a time also 
not that they're not moving and I, I don't I don't want you to steer me wrong I don't ever want to uh teach that certain things are only happening in uh this watch or that watch I'm just pinpointing out um some biblical significance here as to certain things that that are um heavy where you'll see it more heavy handed not that it's not going on all the time and you'll see things um uh that are cross reference or overlapping um in each watch but you'll see it even more prevalent because again there's certain things that are taking place people are not awake or people are just waking up or they were asleep or what have you but in this watch you there is a lot of angelic activity it's a lot of angelic activity because Psalm 103 declares in its verse 20 it talks about how uh, angels are beginning to hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God that they hearken to God's voice so in other words as as they hear God's voice as they hear God's word being um, spoken as they hear God's word being released they are beginning to move they're beginning to uh, be released on assignment to go forth so there's a lot of heightened angelic activity and so in that in this watch it's why it's more important for us to command and decree and declare and begin to talk like God talks because the angels of the Lord, all they hear is what God has said. And when they hear what God has said, they're going to start moving. They're going to, they're going to just dispatch because they, they're like, oh, that's God's voice. The Bible says that as Jesus is, so are we in this world. So if we are like Jesus and we begin to say what God has said, the angels don't know the difference between if it's, if, if it's God in heaven's voice or it's ours. All they know is that the voice, the, the words of God are being released and they begin to move. So you in, in this watch is where the host of heaven, the angel armies are being released and they're moving on our behalf. So in so take advantage of this. Get your scriptures, get your declarations out and begin to decree and speak over your children because the angels of God, they can go places that we can't go. I know right now we're in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. We're shut in. But I'm telling you, if you would be mindful during these different times to be sensitive to the significance of these watch and take advantage of it, you'll, you'll be surprised and you'll even glorify God at how God is still moving even though you're, you're here. And even though I'm not with my loved ones, I can still speak the word of God and the angels of the Lord will go and they will, on assignment and they will go to wherever they they are sent and they're going to accomplish that which is pleasing to the Lord our God the word of God when it's released it's going to accomplish that which God pleases and it's not going to fall to the ground so we have to be uh, mindful and diligent this is why this is called the diligent hour this is the diligent watch and we be diligent to speak the word you don't know um, what how the interceptions are going to take place you don't know how um, God will move do throughout the day because you are mindful in this watch to release and decree and declare the word of God I realize you know you normally don't start getting dressed maybe for work until seven o'clock maybe 6 30 but if God is urging you in your spirit to get up a little earlier get up at five o'clock get up at four or he wakes you up be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and let him lead you in the way of prayer. Begin to decree and declare out of your mouth because, again, there was an assignment sent out, released in, that, in the previous watch that you and I don't know of. We read it in Matthew chapter uh, 24, 43. We didn't know, you don't know what, what part of the night, what was released in the night while you were asleep. But all you do know is that you can release God's word and whatever was set up to, to go down is now being aborted because you had the fortitude and the mindset and the sensitivity to the Holy Ghost to begin uh, to pray. Hallelujah. Said, at all times we should pray, at, you know, and, and release God's word and say what God has said about us. Hallelujah. And what he has said about our family. So be diligent in this time to speak the word of God. Hallelujah, because his word can go places where we cannot go. Um, so once again, this watch, God will begin to heal, even reveal to you the plots and plans of the enemy in this watch. He will expose the traps that have been set. He will drop people in your spirit. Um, when he does, begin to pray. And let me encourage you with this. If you do not have a heavenly language, Ask the Holy Spirit to give you a heavenly language. 
because there may be times where God will drop something in your spirit or drop someone in your spirit and you're not 100% sure why you are seeing them at the moment. I encourage you, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost until the Holy Ghost reveals to you why um, that person is being revealed to you. Sometimes God will wake you up at this time and, he, and you're like, why am I awake? I encourage you, if you're not sure yet why you're awake, then begin to pray in your heavenly language. Or if you don't have a hang with heavenly language, just begin to praise God, begin to worship God, go into worship, go into praise and allow God. And, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm telling you right now, God will speak. He will begin to speak in a Holy spirit. When we don't know what to pray and we don't understand what is happening, the Holy spirit will pick it up. But God just needs a partner in the earth. In those moments, he needs someone in the earth that will begin to tap in that will begin to be sensitive to his voice and come in agreement with him down here as it is in heaven and, and call for, for what's in heaven to be released down in the earth. Amen. When we begin to pray in the Holy spirit and you know, he takes over because he knows all things. Remember the Holy spirit is God. He's part of the Godhead. He knows all things. He knows what's, what is happening. But we're, we are the vessels. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And so we begin to pray out and we partner up with God in those moments so that whatever is taking place or whatever was coming to attack, we are able to help circumvent what was about to take place. You know, um, so we just have to remain sensitive. But if you continue to be sensitive, God will begin to show you. He'll reveal to you the sneak attacks of the devil he'll reveal to you this the um the um secrets of that the enemy had and and he had hidden and not only just for you but for the people around you and the people that he will have you pray for praise god hallelujah 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 yes god hallelujah glory Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. I'm sorry. I just heard him say, hallelujah. I just heard him say that um, a lot of you, some of you, a handful of you that are watching right now, God has been, he has been waking you up and he's challenging you. <sighs> hallelujah. And this is for me too. This is me too. Glory to God. He's challenging us in this time. He's challenging us in this time to be sensitive. And that because he, he can trust us to get up on time and he can trust us to um, be sensitive, especially because we are, we are shut in. A lot of us are shut in. That he's releasing assignments of intercession. Um, he, so be sensitive to his voice. Uh, right now, we do have people who are considered essential workers that are on the front lines, uh, that they have to be um, they, they have to be at the forefront of what we're going through right now. And so he's going to begin to give you assignments for that. He's going to give you assignments for those who are fighting off this um, illness. He's even going to give you assignments for those who are grieving the loss of loved ones. So, um, yes, God. Be sensitive to that. Be sensitive and begin to cry out and pray. Uh, this is the watch we're in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I, I feel this thing so strong. Yes, God. This is the uh, this is the watch we're in. You're even able to intersect things like suicide and drug overdoses and mental breakdowns. Um, this is the, the watch wherein you, you're able to get strengthened because you are building yourself up on your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost, but also building yourself up in what God has said and what he has promised. Um, and surely I want to encourage you, continue to be in prayer and take this time seriously because we know eventually this thing will pass and God knows the day and the hour that this pandemic will pass. But we need to be praying people and we want to fortify and rededicate um, to God in this time and consecrate during this time for what is going to take place once this thing lifts. Once this thing is gone, what are we going to do? Are we going to go back to our old ways? Or are we going to remember this time 
and, and this season of being shut in and be sensitive to continue as the body of Christ, as the born again body of believers, as his bride to pray and to continue to fellowship with him. So I'm going to encourage you not to lose your intimacy with God once this is over. And I, I just had to release that. I'm just flowing at this point. But I want to go back because I, I just landed back on this in my notes. But I was talking about Psalm 103 and how the angels hearken diligently as we give voice to God's word. And the Passion Translation calls them messengers of power. They're mighty heroes who listen intently to the voice of the word to do it. Hallelujah. So again, when we're giving voice to God's word and we're decreeing and declaring what God has said, hallelujah, they are responding to it and they are moving on our behalf. Hallelujah. So remember to, to talk like God talks and decree and declare how God would speak. Because when we speak, that's like God talking to to the angels and telling them what to do hallelujah and i'm just grateful to god that during this time and season a lot of angels that were on unemployment they are now being employed and being dispatched so continue to pray hallelujah and i believe that i'm going to end right there so i pray that that was helpful to you um one more time to recap this is the time this is the watch wherein we want to decree and declare god's word this is the time we want to intercept and intervene um, what has been planted and sent out that was set up to mess up our day or to affect the perfect will of God in not only our lives, but those that are around us. So I'm going to pray and we will end this. And then the next video, I will go on and begin to talk about the prayer watches of the day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Father. Father, we do give you praise, glory, and honor once again, Lord God. God, we thank you, Lord God, for this time, Lord God, that we're able to draw nigh to you, that we're able to seek you while you may be found, oh God. Oh God, we praise and thank you right now. We repent right now for any and all sin said, done, thought that was displeasing in your sight, God. We cry out, Father God. We cry out and ask you not only to forgive our sins, but forgive the sins of our nation, Father God. Hallelujah. Have mercy upon us, O God, in the name of Jesus and forgive our sin, O God. God, we cry out to you, Father God, for you have said in your word, Father, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and they would begin to pray, seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, God, that you would hear from heaven and you would heal our land, Father. So, Father, I thank you, God, that you are releasing healing in the land. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, that your blood is over uh, uh over your people and you are causing the deaf angel to pass over us like never before and while we are shut in i thank you father god that we are seeking your face oh god god i thank you for the worldwide repentance that is taking place oh god god i thank you that all times and all throughout the day and night, Father God, we are mindful to pray. We are mindful to seek your face, O oh God, and to cry out, O oh God. God, I thank you, God, for those that are assigned, those that you have called to arise and awaken during the fourth watch of the night. I pray, Father God, that they would be diligent, God, that they would be vigilant, and God, that they would be sensitive in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, that when they don't understand why they are awake, Father God, I thank you God for our advocate I thank you Lord God for the Holy Spirit rising up in them and beginning to come out of their mouth with utterances and groanings and travail and mourning Father God I thank you Father God for the direct downloads oh God in the name of Jesus that you will begin to speak into your people Father God God I thank you for the souls of men hallelujah that you are dropping in your intercessors and your prayer warriors and your believers hearts handaba shataraba handabe seko I thank you, Father God, that because they are sensitive and diligent to pray, O oh God, and diligent to decree and declare your word, O oh God, that every demonic assignment, every 
trap every uh, stratagem of the devil is exposed foiled and becomes null void and harmless in the name of jesus god oh god i thank you god that they will release your word father god and angels will be dispatched to war on their behalf oh god in the name of jesus we thank you god for warring angels being released lord god we thank you god even for messenger angels being released lord god hallelujah as the word of god is spoken oh god i thank you for messenger angels father god hallelujah being released to speak to creditors and debtors and landlords and those that are in authority father god to move on your people's behalf oh god god i thank you for favor with finances lord god god i thank you for favor father god with creditors god in the name of jesus god wow god i thank you for debt cancellations oh god thank you for bills being paid off in the name of jesus god oh god zero bags that would cry out uh that, that they would touch the hem of your garment lord god and they would receive their healing god oh god i thank you i pray for those right now god that are in isolation god hallelujah in hospital rooms god god that they would find as they find themselves crying out to you father god hallelujah god that you would hear their cry oh god god that you would touch their bodies and raise them up oh god in the name of jesus father father i thank you for the increase of praise reports of your people recovering from all manner of sickness and disease oh god in the name of jesus father god god i thank you that as those are that are praying and that are shut in are crying out for healing god god that you are releasing antidotes oh god god that you are causing your ambassador to come forth oh god healings and cures hallelujah are coming forth in the name of jesus not only of coronavirus but all manner of sickness and disease oh god god i thank you for blind eyes being open oh god ears being open oh god hearts being mended in the name of jesus god thank you for all forms of healing god healing in families lord god in the name of jesus god hallelujah oh god hallelujah god Thank you for healing and, and, and prosperity, Father God, being released, oh God. Oh God, I thank you, God, that you are going in the day of those that do have to go out and go to work. And uh, as we go out and we buy supplies, God, God, I thank you that before we leave out, Father God, we release prayer and we have Psalm 91 protection, God. God, I thank you for prayer hedges going up, Father God. And we have the blood of Jesus over us, oh God. Oh God, I thank you that no evil will befall us, no plague will come nigh our dwelling oh god hallelujah god that you will surround us like a shield in the name of jesus god god that even though a thousand may fall at our side ten thousand at our right hand it shall not come nigh us in the name of jesus but i thank you lord god god as you as people are going out as they're preparing for the day god god that you will release them to be light shining in dark places oh god hallelujah lord god in the name of Jesus, God, God, that your people are being girded up, oh God, to have a word in their heart and a word in their mouth, oh God, encouragement in the name of Jesus, Lord God, God, I thank you, Father God, as they pray and as they intercede and stand in the gap, oh God, we thank you, God, for canceled suicide attempts and mental breakdowns and fatal car accidents, God, and, and uh, financial devastation and family devastations, God, and we come against adultery and, and divorce and separation separation and broken hearted children in the name of Jesus God hallelujah father God God I thank you God that every plot plan employee of the devil is exposed oh God hallelujah and I thank you father God that the enemy's camp is plundered that uh, weapons and 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 resources oh God hallelujah are recovered from the enemy's camp during the watch in the name of Jesus God and God that your people would come into the fullness oh God God, I thank you like never before, hallelujah, as, as, as it not been seen in the past, that your people will begin to see sweatless, effortless victories throughout their day because they are mindful to pray in the watches that they're in, in the mighty and excellent name of Jesus. And I do give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to your name, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. I thank you, Father God. I thank you, 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 God, for the breakthroughs. Hallelujah. And the manifestation of our faith being revealed in these times, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, beloved. May his peace continue to be with you. May heaven continue to smile upon you. And as you pray throughout the day. And as you approach the morning and the rising of the sun in each day. My prayer is that God's word. Hallelujah. As the psalmist says, may the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. Hallelujah. May you receive God's unfailing love when you arise, when you see the sun come up. That it be a reminder to you of God's unfailing love. That his banner over you, no matter what's going on, is love. And that nothing can separate you from his love. Hallelujah. Glory be to you. Hallelujah. Be mindful to command the morning. Grab the four corners of the earth, as it says in Job. Shake wickedness out of its place. Hallelujah. Shake the wickedness. When you are decreeing and declaring the word, you are literally grabbing the four corners of the earth, of the world, and shaking wickedness right out of it. Hallelujah. Never, ever, never, ever. I don't care what's going on. I don't care if you missed the watch. Get on your post and pray. Find out what was available to you in that watch and pray. Hallelujah. Pray strategically because never ever stand in a position where you are not victorious in God. I talked about this with this third watch. It's very important for you to know who you are in God. And as Jesus is, so are you in this world. You are always in a p position of victory, no matter what it looks like. Hallelujah. I'm trying to let this thing go, but I'm, I'm so stirred right now. I'm trying to let it go. Hallelujah. But I, I, I just have to encourage somebody. I don't care what's going on. I know what the world is saying. I know what the news is saying. But I'm going to tell you what. The word of God says that you are victorious, that you're more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. That you have victory, that his banner over you is love and nothing, no, nothing that's going on in this world can separate you from his love. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. No matter what the enemy is up to, you're always victorious and you always will win. But know who you are in God and operate accordingly. Praise our God. Hallelujah. I pray that that blessed you. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me, inbox me, comment below, whatever you need to do. But once again, beloved, be a Berean and go over these scriptures. Let the Holy Spirit minister to you mightily. And I will be back. At some point, and we'll start talking about the four watches of the day. Hallelujah. In the meantime, God bless you. Continue to pray for me. I pray for you. May heaven smile upon you.